the story is leading us to the point where Jesus stands in front of the tomb and says, yeah. Lazarus. Yeah, I mean, that's the climactic it, isn't it? moment. Uh, and, and, you know, the, the crowd watching, I, I think, uh, harbor a certain amount of skepticism. You know, how can this be? What, what the hell is he doing they're here? Moved the mean, tune and they're Lazarus has been dead now. He's in four there. Four days. Four days. I mean, he's going to smell and, and we'll all recoil together and uh, think you're just an idiot uh, for coming along. But he's there, and he's not the least bit put off or daunted by, by this death. Uh, and he walks right in and squares off in front of the corpse and calmly speaks the words, Lazarus, get up, come out. Uh, and it happens. Uh, it's instantaneous. It's, it's sort of a radioactive moment. It changes everything. If he can do this, yeah. if he can walk into the cave of death, which also stands as a metaphor for the cave of my own sin and sorrow and suffering. And if he's not put off by any of that, if he can do that, then there is hope. Mm. It springs eternal. I don't have to worry. I don't need to be demoralized. Uh, you know, God can make up the losses of my own life. All I need to do is surrender to him and say, you take over. You take, you, you take charge. And he wants more than anything to walk into those caves.